We have been chasing this buck around all over the place. Yesterday I had him at 50 yards that it could not shoot because I had, it was intense fog. Um, but I've never killed a deer with a nine or an inch brow tines. We'd really like to get this deer. I've been watching him since he was a year and a half old. And uh, he's ready to shoot this year. He's a fully mature buck. My best estimates of lump. As an eight point, he would score in the 150s as a four and a half year old. With 10 inch plus G1s or brow tines, he also had G2s that exceeded 11 inches, 23 and a half inch main beams, and overall good mass. Lump was a beautiful buck to behold. Now back to the hunt. That was the deer we were after tonight. Um, <laughs> he's got me shook up. Boy, he froze up. I literally held my gun there for I don't know how long. I mean, <sighs> I may have hit some brush. I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna get down and go look and see if I got any sign. I saw him the direction he went. He didn't look like he was hit, but you know, I don't see how I could miss at that distance unless I hit up something or just uh, too shook up. I don't know. But <laughs> I hope we got it, man. I'm so excited. I have hunted this deer and hunted this deer. Oh, man. I wanted to kill him with a bow. I just hope we got him with a rifle. I just hope he's down. Oh, we're going to go check him out. After looking at the footage, I felt like the impact was good. I also felt that I would find Lump laying in the grass at the last place that I saw him. So I got down to investigate. Well, we found some blood. Um, definitely hit this deer. Did not hit him the way that I would like to, or he would not be going very far. So we found his blood here at the edge of the river and we're going to go ahead and leave him overnight and try to pick up the trail in the morning. It's going to be a tough night. <sighs> call it impatience, call it excitement, call it misjudgment. But I got down out of my stand and the results were alarming. I jumped Lump out of his bed. The trail again, Lump head came right by here across the river and we're, we're praying we're hoping that God's going to help us find the steer today. Well I made several mistakes here in regards to trying to recover this buck and to harvest this deer. Number one, um, I'm a 
I'm a, I self film a lot of my hunts. I don't always have somebody who's able to, to film the hunt. And uh, I was so focused on getting this captured on film and, and getting this deer harvested that I really, I let, I let too much footage get by before I stopped this buck. If I'd have stopped him by that big cedar tree right there, I felt like, you know, I, I had a good shot, but I wanted to let him walk and, and get as much footage as possible. And as it was, when I did get him to stop, um, I timed it wrong. He stopped in front of a tree. I held the gun for two minutes. Uh, it was just, just one of those things. Um, secondly, I got down within 10 minutes after after harvesting this buck because I believe that, you know, in my heart of hearts that possibly he was down. Uh, you know, at initial shot, I, I didn't really know, but as I began to replay it through my head and, and looked at the footage, I realized, you know, hey, I hit this buck and he looked like uh, he was, you know, going down for the count there somewhere up in the, in the, the thicket. I ended up jumping this buck and had I left him alone, I might have come back the next morning and found this buck exactly where he was laying. As it was, the next morning, I followed the blood trail for a half a mile. He bedded down once in a while in, in a plum thicket here or there, but he was obviously a deer that was frantic and on the move and trying to get out of there. And, you know, I never found this deer. And even today, one year later, as I said, hunt, uh, this morning, I, I think about it, and just it bothers me that I let this happen. And you know, for the next two months, I committed myself to looking for this deer. I, I gave up a, my gun tag. Uh, I felt like I had burned it, and, and I, I believe that this deer deserved me to go and try to find him and to recover him. And I failed. I, I couldn't make it happen. It's, it's one of those sickening things that you know you live and learn. Anyway, I wanted to share that hunt with you, and I, I hope you enjoyed it.